Ever since the moment that we came out the womb, since the first step we took, our whole entire world has taught us that we're all equal. Every single race is equal. Every single gender is equal. But are we truly equal online? Now, this question is of the utmost importance because if we aren't equal online, then there's going to be so many more issues because of it. Now, in this speech, I will first be discussing modern day issues with social media. Second, I'll be discussing what an egalitarian internet is. Third, I'll be discussing how we can solve those issues. Fourth, I'll be discussing a call to action. So first, let's discuss the modern day issues. All of the issues on social media stem from the company's desire to maximize profit. If it means they can make more money or maximize engagement, they will do it. They don't care about forsaking your mental health, your physical health, or your attention span. If they make a little bit of dough, that means they will have to do it. Now, our current system increases polarization, misinformation, and cancel culture because of the echo chamber. Think about it. In the current society, there is an influencer at the top and there is followers at the bottom. Every single post the influencer makes, the beliefs get sent out straight into the heads of its followers. And this means that if they made a post about misinformation, if they had misinformation in the post, all of the followers now have consumed misinformation. Social media companies also use the system to increase confirmation bias and increase polarization because now the influencers' beliefs are getting sent straight to these followers. And sure, you could argue that these followers have some degree of authority and they can reply in the comment section and say, no, I don't believe that. But nobody has as much power as the influencer. Everybody sees the initial post, not everybody sees the comments. Now, this current situation can be extrapolated to the ruining of relationships because now people are too polarized to even talk to each other because if you don't agree with my beliefs, we are no longer friends. This type of mentality is spreading rapidly among the youth, among all types of people. Now let's move on to what an egalitarian internet is. According to Damone Santola, an egalitarian internet has equal number of contacts and influence throughout the network. This means regular people like me and you would be able to directly change and influence the governing content policies and algorithm policies that we experience on a daily basis. Unlike the current status quo where there's only the influencer at the top and the follower who follows, we would be able to do it. Now, a sociologist at George Mason University has warned us that we might be witnessing the second American civil war because of this increased polarization, which is why it's so necessary we find a solution. So now let's discuss how an egalitarian internet can become that solution. An egalitarian internet solves all of these issues with social media through its unique characteristic of having equal influence throughout the network. There's two things here. First, the company's initial desire to maximize profit and to do anything to do that is diminished because regular people like me and you, we can change it, change the policy, change the algorithm to suit our, our experience, which means that they don't have as much power as they used to. They have no longer any incentive or purpose to maximize profit because now we're physically changing the system at its core. And two, all the information, all the misinformation, disinformation, as well as the polarization is gone. You know why? Because the system now has, there's no more influencer. There is no more influencer. We are all influencers. The initial system of an influencer and followers is, is decimated because now me and you, everybody is just a regular person on the internet who can change and impact it. So there's no more confirmation bias, there's no more polarization, there's no more cancel culture, there's no more any of these issues. Now I want you to imagine a world that is torn apart by rampant polarization and misinformation. People are scared to voice their opinion because they're afraid that they're gonna be canceled on social media. They're afraid they're, no one's gonna be their friend anymore. They're afraid their job is gonna fire them. 
Now I want you to imagine a world with an egalitarian internet. I want you to imagine how everybody would be able to voice their opinions, their true ideologies, their beliefs, as well as create new ideas organically because now we're actually speaking our truth. This is the first step to change. Now let's discuss how we can embrace an egalitarian internet. Now, if you think an egalitarian internet is too unfeasible, oh, we're never gonna get there. Oh, if, if it was gonna happen, it already would have. It's too much change. I already know your problem. You've given up without even trying. That's like going into a war, thinking you're gonna lose. How are you gonna win the war if you already lost? If you already lost the real battle? Now, Jonathan Gray, a, a researcher in CIS, Critical Infrastructure Studies, has stated that the Labor Party has sent multiple legislative proposals suggesting an egalitarian internet. They're literally making reformation changes as we speak. So, so this egalitarian internet is already being put into action. There's no point for you not to believe when there's clearly evidence suggesting that you should believe in it and you should even embrace it and help cultivate this. Now, I don't want any of you to be disheartened by the current state of the internet. Oh, it, it's easy to see all these negative issues, but we're taking one step at a time. According to the management study guide, our current internet has made it possible for people to interact with people all over the world and buy products from anywhere. That is equality in a sense. Now for us to engage the egalitarian internet on a more deeper level, we need to continually raise awareness by constantly discussing this issue, constantly taking initiatives and raising awareness about this issue. This is the only way we can make this come into fruition I want you to spread this knowledge to your friends, your peers, your people who you think might already be influenced by polarization, by confirmation bias, anybody. We need to start somewhere. Let's start today. Now, I want to thank all of you for your attention tonight. This is my Works Cited page to reduce plagiarism. Thank you for your attention tonight.